that's a massive, that's a massive result. That's a massive result for Paris Saint-Germain. Paris Saint-Germain 2, Dortmund nil. Uh, Hakimi with the goal and Kylian Mbappe from penalty spot have scored in that match. And it's a solid win. I mean, it's a solid win. The performance was good. They've controlled the ball. The possession was good. In the first half, they should have scored. They had a couple of chances. PSG, they didn't, they didn't take their chances. But in the second half, they did. And deservingly, deservingly, I think won this game pretty, pretty comfortably. Pretty, pretty comfortably. Uh, man of the match for me, I think I would probably go with, with Kylian Mbappe. I would probably go with Kylian Mbappe, even though Kylian Mbappe has missed two great chances in the second half. Two great chances. He's still disappointed. I'm looking at him now. He's still disappointed, but he should have had a hat trick in this match. But of course, he started off the game. Uh, he started off with the first goal in this match, which is from the penalty spot. But all around, his his play was just spot on, except for that finish, except for that finish. So I do think that he is uh, the man of the match. But you guys do let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match. Do you agree, disagree with that point? And also, uh, now, Newcastle have drawn their game against AC Milan which is a great thing for Paris Saint-Germain. So Paris Saint-Germain now, they stay up top in the group with three points and Newcastle, AC Milan with one point each and Dortmund, no points. So it's a great start for PSG. And I always say, just like what they say in the back in the days, you've got to win your home games in the Champions League. No matter who you play against, you've got to win your home games. And that's exactly what PSG have done. You win all your home games, that is nine points for you and then all you have to do is just draw one of the away games and that's 10 points you advance to the next round so and these kind of tight groups uh group uh games or group stages you've got to win your home games and psg have done that and massive massive result for them but like i said guys if you agree or disagree let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match as always make sure to smash a like on the stream and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel uh, tomorrow, we got to cover the uh, Manchester United versus Bayern Munich game. Make sure you check us out. It's not going to be on this channel. It's going to be on VMU Stand. I've put it in the chat already. So if you want to, if, if you guys want to check that out, please do join us tomorrow for that game. Uh, anything else you guys want to say before I finalize here? Ayam says it is true. Exactly. It is true. Uh, but yeah, guys, the next game, I think PSG, the next Champions League game is let me just quickly check who they're playing i think let me just quickly check who they're playing next it depends on like if they play newcastle away from home for example it might be tough yes so it is newcastle away from home so the next game for psg is newcastle away from home it's not gonna be easy it's not gonna be easy but it is interesting to see what's gonna happen but thanks everybody for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one it's